This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, June 11th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen about the last eight hours of a disturbance on our electromagnetic field. Now, the spikes are not extensive, but some of the spikes appear to go as high as 400 hertz, which is definitely a disturbance on our electromagnetic field. When we see any disturbance on that field, it usually means our Schumann resonance is also spiking. So let's check that out. Remember, this started at about 1400 UTC time, which is about 7 a.m. this morning, and it's ongoing currently. And as we guessed, right around 1400 UTC time, the Schumann resonance went crazy. First, we see the geophones get hit really hard here. This looks to be subsiding. So we've endured about four hours of this action, ending at, well, about an hour ago, perhaps. We'll get more information with the six-day comparison. Some of these spikes actually went off the charts. 105 hertz right here. Most of these spikes went up to about 65 to 70 hertz. Still very abnormal spikes in our Schumann residence. All right, taking a look at our six day comparison, each line being a day split up into six hour quarters, we see that around 1400 UTC time, which is about 7 a.m. this morning, we got blasted with heavy Schumann residence spiking. Of course, this went off the charts at 50 hertz. It does look like it is currently subsiding but that could change. Now, ladies and gentlemen, why do the charts only go to 50 hertz? Because the Schumann resonance was never measured over 37 hertz until 2017. I'll explain why I think we're seeing higher and higher Schumann resonance spikes each year as we continue. These are our hourly geophone strips. They used to light up like Christmas trees. Uh, right now, I believe that they're completely covered in snow based on pictures surrounding the modeling station itself. These are our Schumann resonance amplitudes, helping us confirm that this is a real event. Now, we could argue that this started at about 12 UTC time, which would be about 5 a.m. Or we could argue that we see a much stronger start around 1400 UTC time, about 7 a.m. But we see that our ULF indicators, our ELF sensors, and our second SR frequency, taking a dip here right around 12 UTC time, show that this is a real event. We don't see a lot of activity from our geophones in green, when as they usually react with much more amplitude. Again, I believe that it's because the geophones are covered in snow in this area. Jumping over to windy.com, to take a look at what's happening in this area. Our, our modeling agency is located up in this general area. It's going to be just, just southwest of Turin. The major city in the area and there is our modeling station right there in the foothills of the alps you can see that we have a thunderstorm in the area although it's trying to move on which might be the reason we're seeing the schumann residents subside so our agitator in this instance again is going to be lightning all right we never seem to see schumann resonance spikes during space weather events i've been watching this for quite some time we're going to take a look at where our shields are now. We can see our shields in pink, meaning they're down here. This is going to be 12 UTC time. This is going to be 14 UTC time. They're obviously down. Now, when we do 
experience space weather, our shields pop up. Our higher regions, our ENF shields pop up trying to protect our planet. Currently, they have dissipated and we're dealing with shields down, meaning our ENF regions of our atmosphere have dissipated and only our D region is protecting us. Now, let's take a look at what that means and how this works. Now, let's all remember that our Schumann resonance never spiked over 37 hertz until 2017, and the spikes have been getting stronger and stronger each year since then. That was seven years ago. I believe that this is due to our atmosphere collapsing. We've all heard about the Atlantic anomaly and the holes in our atmosphere. I believe our atmosphere is collapsing because of an ongoing 3600 year cycle or pole flip. Just as the sun flips its magnetic poles every 11 years, it's my belief that Earth flips its magnetic poles every 3,600 years. With that said, I believe we're about seven years into that magnetic pole flip. When that pole flip occurs, our atmosphere dissipates more and more so each year until the magnetic poles actually cross each other. In this instance, just north of Indonesia, it appears, and then our atmosphere will start to rebuild. Now, it's my understanding that our atmosphere will completely collapse as the poles near and cross each other. I thought one pole would go one way and the other pole would go the other way, but actually they're both headed towards each other to meet somewhere north of Indonesia. As the pole flip continues, our atmosphere, our F and E layers first, and I guess then our D layers dissipate, leaving us wide open for any type of solar weather, cosmic weather, etc. Now, what's going on right now is our F and E layers are down. They pop up only when space weather is hitting Earth, and they pop up kind of like a callus on the bottom of your foot. The more more they're hit, the actually stronger they get. So with space weather hitting our atmosphere, the NF layers pop up. With no space weather hitting, as currently is the case, our D layer, or our lowest atmosphere ionospheric layer, is what our agitator, in this case lightning, is bouncing off of and returning back to the sensors. Since it's not traveling near as far, it's returning back to the sensors much stronger and with more velocity. And that's increasing every year as more and more of our atmosphere dissipates. Again, lightning is our agitator, bouncing off the D layer, where it used to bounce off the ear F layer, returning faster, stronger, and with more velocity to our actual sensors, showing these large spikes on the Schumann residence. Now, with that said, my actual background is in mathematics, and I've studied things like the string theory, super string theory, M theory, etc. All of them predict that there's several dimensions in this world, if you will, and the dimension you're in is determined by vibration and frequency. And as vibration and frequency increases, our dimension also should rise. Although, again, I don't think that is what we're seeing here. I think we're seeing our atmosphere depleted. With that said, we still are having these higher vibrations and higher frequencies. I'd love to know if this affects you guys, and if so, how it affects you guys in a positive manner, in a negative manner, and what are the actual effects of a Schumann resonance spike, if any, when you experience this. As I've indicated many times in the past, this makes me tired and lethargic more so, and I can regularly sense these spikes in the Schumann Residence. Again, these are actual spikes in the Schumann Residence, and they're occurring because of 
the agitator lightning bouncing off the lower D level of our ionosphere instead of the ear F level as they used to, increasing both the frequency and vibration. Please share, please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world. God bless.